Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. Check it out, new antenna to play with. And this is the Diamond X50N. Now I got this from Nevada Radio, 69, I think it's about 69.99. Ordered it on the Tuesday and it came Thursday, so I can't fault their delivery service. They say it's got a 4.5 dB gain on two meters and 7.5 on 70 sems. And they also say that it's a 1.5 or below on the SWR across the band. So I'll be testing that at some point, because I've got my uh, analyzer down there. Now in the box you get everything you need for the antenna. Little mounting pole. You get the antenna itself. We've got three radials that just screw in. And on the bottom of the antenna there is an N-type connection. You can easily convert that to 259 like I've done. You also get two of these. And these are the mounting brackets. You can mount that onto a bigger pole. And you get two screws, as you can see there, and they literally go in and hold the two poles together. So where are we? So they screw into there, and also screw into there. So let's put this into the bike stand and run it across the analyzer and see what the SWR is like across the band. They say it's 1.5 or better. What do you reckon? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got the antenna mounted into the bike stand. And I've put the two screws in there, make it nice and tight. Connect the radials up. I've adapted the cable, so it's now PL259, all the way into the analyzer. Let's test it across the band. So 144 megs is sitting at 1.4. Let's go up the band. There, 1.3. But oh, look at that, brilliant. So 1.4 below on 70 sem, uh, 2 meters. Let's try 70 sems. Let's go up again. There we go. So it's coming down, the SWR. Okay, we're at 412 megs, it's bang on, lovely. But we need 70 cents band, which is 430 upwards. So 430, 431, 1.1. Look at that, 437, 1.5. And 440. Look at that. Bang on. So they were right. It's below 1.5 across the band. So let's try and access a few repeaters. I've got set up here the FT817. Just want to swap the cable over and we see what repeaters we can access. Okay, we're trying to access some repeaters. So this is GB3VH and coming through just then was Rumford HW because it's on the same tone. So VH is coming back to us now at end stop. It's just done its tone, let's key up again. And VH, there you go, it's come back as end stop. Now normally I get VH around about S4, S5 and S6 on a good day. Let's try OY. Okay. Uh, oh, PR, I'm hearing a repeat or a PR. I've never heard them before. Lovely. And that's coming back at S9. Now, normally I get that about an S3 off the old Mag Mount on the windowsill up in the shack. So it's a lot better. Let's try AL. There we go. Where are we? A L. Let's run about 15, 16 mile away. This is. That's coming back at S6, which is lovely. It's good. GB3BN. Not sure where that is. I'm here. I can hear that. That repeat. I can't normally hear. CK, I think it might be the same as BN. Let's try DA, S Essex. Now I'm not getting into DA, but when I tried it on my 857 with a little bit more power, because this one's only running 5 watts, I was able to get in there, about an S4. So there we are, the Diamond X50 antenna. Would I recommend this antenna? Yes, I definitely would recommend the antenna, because it's worked very well for me. Didn't have to set anything up, just literally just put it all together, shove some cable in it and went straight on the air without any problems. 
We've just hit over 1,500 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribing and watching my videos. I'll catch you next time. This is 2E0 IQJ. Thanks for watching. 7-3.